Hi and welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. You join me here at the Belfry. We are outside on the Academy putting green and we're talking about putting, but more specifically, we're talking about green reading. And we're just going to maybe going to look at a few of the faults I see golfers fall into when out on the golf course, which causes them to maybe not read the green correctly and therefore obviously miss putts and, and in some cases free putts. So I've picked myself uh, a situation in this green where I've got about a probably about a 20 foot putt and it's got quite a bit of right to left break on it. So the majority of the golfers I see, they're pretty good at picking the break. They can pretty much figure out whether that ball's going to break from the right or from the left. What they're maybe not quite so good at is judging how much that ball is going to break. We often see golfers under read putts on the golf course, which basically means they don't allow enough borrow. So they wouldn't aim, they wouldn't aim sorry, enough to the right on this putt, and therefore they would miss the ball on the, what we call the low side. So in this case, it's on, it's on the left. So let's just go through kind of what I see golfers do and then we're going to maybe look at where they aim and maybe where they should aim. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a straight line from the ball to the hole. So you can see that there, that's just a direct line from my ball to that hole. Now what we've said is there's a right to left break on this. So we don't really want to hit the ball along that line, but we need that as a reference point. So what golfers will often then do is start to try and picture how the ball is going to get to that hole. So let's say we pick this amount of break okay so they set themselves up we've got the ball to target line a straight line and then we've got what we think the break's going to be and you can see that's you know right to left movement there hopefully finishing the hole this is what golfers tend to they tend to visualize that ball rolling over the ground and then rolling in and they pick the break now a couple of little terms apex point apex point is basically where that ball is furthest from the straight line okay so a straight line from my ball to that hole the apex point is where the ball is at its furthest from that line so again on that image there you can see the apex point is probably about well not a million miles away from halfway from that line they will then figure out how far that apex point is away from the straight line and let's say that's three feet okay so when i hit this putt the furthest that ball ever gets away from the straight line is three feet okay it never gets any further away from that line. This is where they then make the big mistake. They think there is three foot of break on this putt, okay? Because they picture it and they see this ball, they see the apex point, that's three feet from my straight line. Three feet of break is what they will play. So if I hit this putt and I aim at the apex point, I visualize that ball starting three feet right of the hole. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to play, let's say, that much of break. Okay, take my setup. It's a little bit downhill, this puts so it's relatively quick. I'm going to hit my point ball three feet right. And what do we see? We see the ball finish way, way, way low of the hole. The amount of break I have to play is significantly more than what we see as the apex point. The apex point is where that ball is furthest from that straight line, we know that. But for me to get my ball onto that line, I have to aim this ball significantly to the right. So if I take my setup here and just aim kind of where I think I need to aim, okay, you can see just how far right that is, okay? It's probably getting close to six or seven feet in terms of where I'm aiming. Now, if I hit this putt, Okay, you can see, and that's still, still missed slightly low, but you can just see where I had to aim that ball in order for it to finish somewhere near the hole. The apex point is, yes, it's absolutely where that ball is at its furthest point from the straight line. That is, however, not where you need to aim. You need to aim somewhere else to enable that ball to, to fit on that apex point. If we can draw a line from my ball, straight through the apex point you can see how the initial start direction is left of the break and that is what we see golfers do day in day out they see the apex point they figure out it's three feet they aim three feet right the ball starts on a line which is too low it therefore breaks too early and it misses low let me try and hit another putt for you i'm going to try and give this one a little bit more in fact so i'm going to try and put this almost a good so if you look at where i'm aiming now that's probably a good seven feet out to the right this ball's going to break very early, and it's a little bit downhill, so out to the right. Okay. 
and that one certainly didn't come back quite a nut, but it's only finished about a foot right. If you look at where my other balls finished, they've finished further left than that finished right. So how we sort of read the greens is obviously very, very important. We know that green reading is something that golfers struggle with. It, we know that it's something that they can learn, they can get better at it. There's a real big misconception that golfers can either read greens or you can't read greens. You know, we get this, oh, I'm not really good at reading greens. It's something that's natural. It's not natural. We can certainly learn it. We can certainly improve what we're like at it. And if we can improve our green reading, obviously we're gonna give ourselves much more chance of holding putts, but we're gonna give ourselves less chance of free putting. That's really important for the golf course. We need to make sure that we're hitting good putts on good lines with good speed. And that's really, really where green reading comes into this, okay? So hopefully that little explanation starts to get you to think about it slightly differently. You maybe will fall into that category that we see golfers doing all the time where they're, they're aiming, you know, trying to hit this ball towards the apex point. If we do that, it's gonna go low of the initial start line and it's gonna finish lower the hole. So make sure you don't fall into that habit pick your start line and try and get it to yes go on the apex point we've got to visualize that putt but the aim point and the apex point are very very different and that is what we're trying to get across in this video hopefully that made some sense to you um, it's one of those things that hopefully you can just take straight to the course and it's going to help you it's not something you have to basically practice um, you know no drills it's just something you can go straight to the course it might help you next time you go and play and that's really what we're hoping to do in this video Okay, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, if you've got any comments, please post those in the boxes down below. And there's also a link to a subscription page in the, in the description. It just means that you won't uh, miss any of the videos if you subscribe to my channel. Okay, so thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you again next time.